Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many Databricks users encounter when working with Amazon S3. Our viewer is curious about how mounting an S3 bucket works, specifically with a bucket named MyB and a folder called Test. They want to know if mounting creates a link to the entire bucket or just to the specified folder. Plus, they're looking for guidance on how to list files in that folder and perform operations like reading a CSV file using Scala. Let's dive in and clarify these concepts. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding what mounting an S3 bucket in Databricks means. When you mount an S3 bucket, you create a link between your S3 storage and Databricks, allowing you to access files stored in that bucket. In your case, you mounted the bucket named MyB. This means that Databricks can access all files in that bucket, including those in the test folder. If you mount using MyB test, it will only link to that specific folder. To list the files in the test folder, you can use the command dbutils.fs.lsmymyb test. This will show you all the files located in that folder. If you want to read a specific file or count the number of rows in a CSV file, you can use Spark data frame operations. For example, to read a CSV file, you can use spark.readcsv menu test test your file.csv. To count the number of rows in that CSV file, you can chain the count method like this, df.count, where df is your data frame. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When you mount S3 to Databricks, it only shows the folders and files directly under the bucket. In S3, you'll see your bucket name followed by the files and folders. In Databricks, the structure changes slightly, showing the mount name and the bucket data list. For example, when you run the command to list the contents of your mount in Databricks, you'll see the output formatted with the mount name followed by the folders and files. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.